The Dennis Committee joins me again. And Dan, the big news locally this week has been the departure of Robbie Warnock from Fremantle. Well, I suppose not a complete surprise, Baz. There was a lot of toing and froing there. This is a young man who's very lucky to be in the situation he's in. He hasn't proven himself on the football field, yet he's in a very strong bargaining position. Despite rumours to the contrary, I think he'll finish up at Melbourne and two things will get that deal across the line. I think they will deal with Fremantle and give them something in compensation. He won't go there unencumbered. I think the fact that Chris Connolly is there and also Cameron Schwab means that they wouldn't want to tarnish their legacy at Fremantle. Those great legacies. The search for assistant coaches goes on. West Coast have filled one vacancy this week, still two to fill at Fremantle. That's right, the big names getting plenty of knocks on the door around the country. They got Philip Walsh during the week, tactical and also fitness guru. I think that's a good result for them. Everyone speaks highly of him. Interesting, Tony McHale is out of the mix there. Tony McHale is a guy that I've got a lot of respect for, and I know Chris Judd did too when he left. He said he was one of the best, if not the best, assistant he'd dealt with. So Tony McHale in limbo, former Fremantle guy. Fremantle have got a vacancy down there. Peter German's gone. I would like to see Tony McHale given a chance at Fremantle. I think that's a long shot, but by the same token, I think it would be very good for Fremantle. We've discussed it before. Getting Fremantle back into Fremantle, Baz, and a bit of experience too. Makes a lot of sense. How are you tipping for?